you wonderful people. Thank you for joining my review. Today I wanted to do um, foundation. So I got this wonderful foundation off of Amazon. It is the Dermablend CC Cream Continuous Correction. So this is the cream I'm talking about. What I love about this is it is a CC cream. It's cruelty free and it has SPF 50 in it. One of my all time favorite um, foundations that I have used is this Estee Lauder uh, Futurist, Futurist Hydra Rescue. It is SPF 45 and I am excited to get more SPF. So the shade I am using today is 10N Fair One and I am super excited to try it out. Um, I have already put on some serums and I'm just going to be putting on this Estee Lauder Illuminator Primer real fast and then apply this wonderful foundation. I'm excited to try it. Um, I have, uh, I guess I have weird skin that gets oily, uh, pretty oily. Oops, I just got so much of that primer in my hair. I have pretty oily skin. And what I noticed is during the summer, a lot of the times, of course I want SPF 50, but during the summer I have trouble with my skin getting super oily depending on what I use. I noticed using the Hydra, the Futurist Hydra is making my skin a lot more oily. So I'm hoping that this Derma Blend will kind of give me more of a matte look. Um, especially since my skin isn't the best. I noticed that having um, more of a matte look makes my skin texture look a lot better. Alright, so I'm undoing this real fast. I like it. Okay, let's apply some here. Well, that is a lot. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it. Woo! Maybe the color is a little too light for my skin, but my skin is kind of red from, like if you notice my neck is a lot lighter than my face, but I do get a lot of acne scar treatments here in South Korea. So um, I do have a problem with hyperpigmentation. So I'm excited to see the coverage and the coverage is already pretty intense. Um, Okay, let's blend this in and make it look way better than how it looks now. But that is one problem that I have with a lot of foundations is because my the, my skin is so red from having so many um, like laser treatments and acne scar treatments um, to kind of fix my tone. You can see my neck and my overall skin tone is a lot lighter than, uh, than my face. A lot, lot lighter. I am so excited for this SPF 50. I'm excited to see how long uh, the wear will be on it as well. Um, I don't know if it says on here how long it is supposed to last. Mm. It says apply every two hours, which is actually quite common for um, just like a sun protection and like sun protection foundations in general, they almost all say to apply every two hours. One of my favorite, all time favorites is called the IT Cosmetic one. IT Cosmetic Your Skin But Better CC Cream, or is it BB Cream? I can't remember, but um, that one I love so much and it has anti-aging serums as well. And it, also says apply every two hours, I, which I never do, to be honest. I don't think I've ever applied it every two hours. I just forget. But you definitely should for the sun protection and the coverage. Okay, I think I am pretty well blended. Okay, let's get over here. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get all the spots. So this one is definitely more matte and less shiny than the Hydra, than the Futurist Hydra Rescue. And I like the coverage. The coverage is really nice. So yeah, that is my review and demonstration of the, let me grab it real fast of the Derma Blend CC Cream Continuous Correction SPF 50. I am excited to see how long it will stay on my face for, 
without applying it every two hours because I'm gonna have to be honest, I'm probably gonna forget to apply it every two hours. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!